welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment. I'm Richard. Before we get into our new interview with actress Nikki Reed, our other former host, Michael Weston, and I had a chance to interview Nikki in a Twilight press junket and red carpet in San Francisco. Here now is some fun moments from that fun time in, I can't believe this, 2011. How does one mentally prepare to play a vampire? We had different directors also uh, sort of approach it in different ways. Catherine Hardwick, who directed the first installment, um, you don't know this, but she stuck us in cat class because her idea of, you know, vampire, they, they moved like cats. So that was uh, one approach, and, and David Slade had a different, and, and Bill Condon had a different one, so. Did you occasionally find yourself meowing at times after doing No, cat I did not. <laughs> you have to do that in class. Yes. You had to meow. There was a bit of that, I believe. It was an awkward class, but our teacher was great and very committed. <laughs> I'd love to see Cat and Meow. So Breaking Dawn 1 is the first of the, the end, right? It's Breaking mm -hmm. Dawn 1 and then Breaking Dawn 2. Is this really sad for you guys to see the series um, come to a close? Mm -hmm. I don't feel particularly sad about it. Um, I feel strange. It's strange to think that I'm not going to play Rosalie again, but I think um, we all knew what we were in for, you know? There was a, a certain number of books, and, and we completed the films, and, and uh, I'm excited about the future. Nikki Reed is here. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Okay. I mean, you, you started off wanting to be a screenwriter, and then you land up going to be an actress. I mean, did you ever in your wildest dream thought you'd be walking up a red carpet and all these people yelling your name? Well, I still want to be a screenwriter. <laughs> um, and I don't think there's any way to sort of, I don't know, anticipate anything like this. Um, we started out making what we thought was going to be sort of a very, I don't know, not tiny, but, you know, medium-sized film, certainly not anything with this kind of success. And so it's been, you know, a big surprise for all of us, and it's been a journey. And What's your best moment of doing these films? I would say working with so many different directors. Um, I've been a big fan of everyone that's come on board, and sometimes I'm just, like, amazed that they would even, you know, want to be a part of it. It's so incredible that they're, you know, Bill Condon is... Um, is someone that I've that I've always really admired, and so he did a beautiful job with this movie. We got one more question here. You're, a lot of your fans are watching right now, and what do you want to say to them? I guess I would just say thank you, thank you so much for for continuing this because without you guys, we wouldn't have any any of this. So thank you. Thanks very much, Nikki. I loved her character. She hated Bella, but I loved her though. <laughs> and actually, okay, so she's joining us today to talk about her jewelry line, her vegan shoe line, and Genexa Clean Medicine. I'd like to welcome Genexa investor and Genexa's strategic advisor, award-winning actress, Nikki Reed, to Cyrox Entertainment. Hi, Nikki, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me and thank you for talking about Genexa. So tell me a little bit about Genexa and how is Genexa's medicine different from other medicines? So I came to Genexa as a fan, just a fan of the brand and what was in the medicine, honestly, as a parent, as a person who cares about, you know, conscious living and what we're putting in our bodies. Um, I wrote to the, to the company and said, I love this medicine. This is all I will use. I need to invest. How can I spread the word? What can I do? I found out that it was founded by two fathers, which I loved. You know, the passion there was so real. And um, I think what set Genexa apart from other medicines for me is that it just didn't have all the stuff that we don't need that's not good for us. It doesn't have the, you know, synthetic sweeteners and artificial dyes and fillers and all of those things, but it still uses the same effective ingredients that we're already familiar with that we rely on um, that actually work, you know, like acetaminophen is a great example of that, a pain reliever, fever reducer. When it's three o'clock in the morning and, you know, your child has a 103 fever, you want to pull something out of your medicine cabinet that you know will work, you know, and, um, you know, as sort of natural and crunchy as I am in so many ways. And it's true. I make a lot of my own skincare products and a lot of the products for the household I make myself. There's some things you just don't mess around with. And one of those things is medicine, but you still want to know that what you're putting in your body is clean and what you're putting in your little, your little people's bodies is clean. Yeah, absolutely. So, and what's your experience been like since joining Genexa as their strategic advisor? 
I love the Genexa team. It feels very, um, you know, intimate and family oriented, um, but also just so like some some of the greatest thinkers, honestly. I mean, this is a space that needs the clean medicine space needs a revolution, right? And so it's an honor, honestly, to sit on this team with all of these thinkers who are really at the forefront of this, creating true, effective change in this space that's so needed. So, you know, honestly, I didn't know much about Genexa or, you know, until I learned of your, your involvement with them. So, okay, when I was a new mom, I, I didn't even know that clean medicine was available or even an option. Now, why do you think that the option for clean medicine or even just information about clean medicine is often overlooked or not, you know, not commonly offered? Well, the truth is you didn't know about it likely because it didn't exist. Um, Genexa is the first clean medicine company that really offers, you know, this type of approach to medicine, which is active, effective ingredients, but without all the other BS that's typically found in you know the medicine we're familiar with. And so because of that, it wasn't an option. And so like you, I was also the parent that was going to stores going, um, is there an alternative or what can I look for? And the things that I was finding, honestly, in that space, I mean, I found Genexa because my daughter actually had an allergic reaction to another medicine that claimed to be clean. And then when I actually flipped it over afterwards and was like, oh, what's in this? And I saw all of these um, synthetic sweeteners and that's what she had an allergic reaction to, which is apparently quite common actually. Um, I, it really prompted me to look deeper into that space and go, oh, so we're being told something is clean, but is it, is it really? And so, um, if you go to Genex's website, it's actually my favorite place to find kind of the most like right there, easy to digest information, which is click on the clean medicine tab at the top of the website, and then just look at the, you know, what's in Genexa list, what's not in Genexa list. And just seeing that right in front of you, both things, it makes it very clear why this is so important. You should be able to pronounce everything that's in your medicine. You should know, you should be familiar with it. You know, it should yeah. be, you know, Genexa is using organic blueberry syrup and, you know, organic honey as a sweetener. Why isn't all medicine doing this? I don't know. And to be honest with you, it's not something I had ever thought of, even though I was thinking about everything else I was putting in my body. Um, so it's funny, like as a parent, um, or even, sorry, beyond as a parent, just as a person, sometimes we don't think about things until you have a reason to. And for exactly. me, you know, it was my daughter having that allergic reaction that prompted me to go, Hmm, what is this? And why did I think I was choosing clean when I wasn't before? And Genexa really is that safe, effective option. And also I, I love that they're, they're Genexa is available at pretty much all the stores yeah. that you know almost everybody shops at i shop at them <laughs> so apart from your work with genexa uh you also have your own sustainable jewelry line uh bio with love and vegan sneakers from losi wear much of what you do is centered on uh conserving earth's resources and protecting our environment so what inspired this interest and did you have this interest since you were a kid or did did this passion come later as an adult? So it was definitely later in life. And um, I, I talk about that proudly just because life is a journey and an evolution. And um, we're not all born with, you know, born into circumstances that cater to the life that we want to lead as an adult. And so um, I didn't really start to understand or wrap my head around any of this until I was maybe 20 or 21. You know, my, my very early 20s, I started thinking about what I was eating, which prompted me to learn about the food system. And then learning about the food system, you start learning about, you know, um, well, just thinking about, you know, beyond food, like so many things go into that antibiotic use that's put into, you know, modern agriculture and things like that. So it's like the ripple effect and you start learning more and more and more and you can't really unsee the things that you see. Mm -hmm. And all of these things, you know, like running a sustainable jewelry business and then working on you know, a clean medicine company or a creative directing for a shoe company, you think like, what is the common thread of all of those things? And the truth is, you know, it's people, planet, profit. So that should be built into every business model, I think, going forward um, from now and beyond. You know, we can't 
you know, a lot of businesses are built on just the profit pillars, and we really need to think beyond that. It really needs to be about the planet and the people first. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Nikki, I had such a great time speaking with you today. Sadly, we are out of time, but before we wrap, I just wanted to let you know that I loved your character, Rosalie, in the Twilight series, the Twilight film series. Oh. You're fantastic and just gorgeous. So, wonderful work. And again, thank you so much for taking time to speak with me today. Thank you. That's so sweet of you to say. It was lovely talking to you too. And we'll talk soon. For more full length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.